Hello everyone, I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm the Nerd of the Street, and today we are setting up phone numbers in LibreOffice Base. All right, everyone, if you've been subscribed for a while, you might remember about two years ago, I made a couple videos on LibreOffice Base. LibreOffice Base is one of the lesser known applications in the LibreOffice suite. It is a database management program. The equivalent program in Microsoft Office is called Microsoft Access. So it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I've gotten steady requests for more LibreOffice Base videos since I did those first two. And I'm excited that I can finally get around to making some more videos about using LibreOffice Base. So in the next few videos, we're going to get into some more advanced concepts, but for this one, we're just sort of opening the program up again. And last video, I showed you guys how to set up formatting for the date field to make it so that the date displays however you want it to. This video, we're going to set up formatting for a telephone number field so that you can make your phone numbers display in your database however you want them to. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below and let me know if there's anything else you want to know how to do and I'll make a video about it in the future. But for now, let's just cut right to the desktop. All right, and here we are on the desktop. So we will go ahead and open up LibreOffice and we will open up our Nerd on the Street database that we started in our first video. So once again, it's going to start us off in the forms section. We are going to get into forms a little bit later, but for now we're still working with tables. So we'll go up there. We are going to open up our knots staff table. And as you can see, here's our date column. This is what we talked about last video was formatting this column of this table. So right now we've got this phone section and even though it's labeled phone number, uh, right now you can type in, you know, any number of numbers in there and it will just display the numbers. So if we type in a full 10 digit number, uh, which is like a normal phone number with an area code and we go to our next field, it just leaves it there as 10 digits and it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really format it like a phone number. So just like when we set up the date field to format the phone number field, we're going to right click the top, the column header, and we're going to click column format. It's going to open up our field formatting options, and we are going to enter in another format code here. So you remember when we set up the dates that you can type in D for the day, uh, month for the month, and year for the year. Um, setting up a phone number field is going to work similarly. There are actually three different characters that you can type into this formatting code to represent a number. They are the question mark, the number sign, and the zero. So for our telephone field, just to demonstrate all three, we're going to type open parenthesis, question mark, question mark, question mark. So there's our area code, close parenthesis, number sign, number sign, number sign, and dash zero, 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 zero. This is the format code we're going to use for telephone number. Now, you don't have to use this specific format. You could use all zeros, you could use all question marks or all number signs. Let me explain the difference between all of these. A question mark in the format code is going to put a number in the place of the question mark. When you type a number into this field, it will replace the question mark with whatever number you type. However, if you don't type a number in this field, it's going to replace it with a space. So you can see in the preview here, there's some space between our left and right parentheses. That's because we have three question marks and none of them are filled in in our example here. So it's going to put three spaces between the parentheses. You can see if I take the question marks away, that's what it looks like with nothing inside the parentheses. Now the number sign, as you can see, I can put number signs in here. Once again, it's going to replace those number signs with whatever number you do type in. But if you leave it blank, you're going to have this with no spaces inside the parentheses. So a question mark, if it's blank, it puts a space there. Uh, a number sign, if it's blank, it puts absolutely nothing there. And then finally, our last option is the zero. Now a zero is going to obviously once again replace those zeros with whatever numbers you type. But if you don't type a number there, it's going to leave it as a zero and use a zero for the placeholder. So question mark is to use a space as your placeholder, number sign is to use nothing as your placeholder, and then zero is to literally use a zero as the placeholder. So we'll go ahead and click OK, and that is going to format this entire column. So as you can see, our top line got formatted, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. We've got 10 digits, so all of the fields are filled in there. Now if we go ahead and type in, let's type in 
one, two, three, four, five digits into a field and see what happens. Since we used question marks inside of our parentheses, it's going to put three blank spaces inside the parentheses because we didn't put enough numbers to fill that in. Because we use number signs for the first three digits, even though we only typed one digit, there's no extra spaces here because number signs, once again, do not use anything as a placeholder. And then our last four digits are normal in this example. Now down here, let's just type in three digits and see what happens. As you can see, once again, we've got the spaces for the question marks, nothing for the number sign. For the last four digits, we use zeros. Now, even though we only typed one, two, three, it uses a zero as the placeholder for this last digit there. And if we literally just type one digit, you can see it uses zeros to fill in all of the, the places in the zero sequence that we did not fill up. Now, right now, this is actually a little bit touchy. Um, if you wanted to go and add the first three numbers of any one of these, these numbers, it wouldn't actually work. Um, and at this point, we're just broken. Nothing that we do here is going to have any effect. And we've got to just start over in this field if we do want to input an actual number into there. We have to start over. In a future video, we're going to talk about making that a little bit more user-friendly with the help of forms. But the table view here is really just for raw data. It's not supposed to be super user-friendly. It's just for inputting data. So as long as you've got valid 10 digit phone numbers that fit your format, once again, the whole idea with LibreOffice Base as opposed to LibreOffice Calc is that Calc doesn't care about matching the format between different cells, whereas Base is going to enforce matching the format between different cells. In our format code here, we've got four, seven, eight, nine, 10 placeholders for numbers. So as long as you always type in exactly 10 digit numbers into this field, then it will always format it and work perfectly. So that's how to set up a phone number field. And we actually did have someone in a previous video's comment section asking how to set up the formatting for a phone number. So there you go, that's how you do that. While I'm here and I have the database open on camera, I am just going to go through here I'm going to make a few corrections to our database since we're going to be using this for some more videos. And I'm going to add just a couple more rows here. All right, and there's just a few more rows of data that we will interact with in a future video. But now we have at least what we've got already formatted nicely. We've got the name of the Nerd on the Street staff member. We've got the phone number formatted in a human readable format and the date also formatted in the human readable format that we chose earlier in another video. So once again, let me know what you guys want to see me do in LibreOffice Base. I've got a few things in mind already, like building some queries and making other tables, linking tables together, building forms. Let me know down in the comments section if you have any questions or on the forums over at nerdonthestreet.com. For now though, that's everything there is to it in terms of formatting for phone numbers. So I'm Jacob Kaufman with Nerd on the Street and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.